the star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents a memorable musical hit, George M. Cohan's Little Nellie Kelly, starring Gordon McRae and his lovely guest star, Jane Powell. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is arranged and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's George M. Cohan night tonight. For America's great song and dance man wrote the words, the music, and the story for the show we're bringing you in honor of St. Patrick's Day. Little Nellie Kelly. <laughs> I'll try to get your Irish up as the Bronx Romeo, Jerry Conroy. And Janie Powell is looking sharp as a shamrock for the title role of Little Nellie Kelly. Hey, where's Nellie? We go to see Nellie Kelly. Where's Anderson Nellie? Officer Kelly, is your daughter home? Oh, hello there, Jerry, me boy. Nellie, the boys are here for you again. How many, Father? The usual number, half a hundred or so. Jerry Conroy in the lead. Ask them to sing a song until I'm ready. Okay, Nellie. Come on, fellas. It's the same old song they sing. I love you. The boys are all mad about Nellie, the daughter of Officer Kelly. And it's all day long they bring flowers all dripping with you. And they join in the chorus of Nellie Kelly, I love you. Hold to complain, right as the rain, Nellie's the one they are all for. Hundreds of foes, each fellow knows, all of the others, she treats them like brothers. The rich and the poor, each one is sure, he is the fellow she'll fall for. Nobody's ever guessed, and she's never confessed if there's any particular boy. It's the same old song they sing, I love you. The boys are all mad about Nelly, the daughter of Officer Kelly. And it's all day long they bring flowers all dripping with you. And they join in the chorus of Nelly Kelly, I love you. Here <laughs> comes, here comes Nelly now. Hiya, Nelly. Hello, boys. Hello, hey. Jerry. Nelly, you're all dressed up. Well, when you work at a dress shop, you've got to look your best. Let's go, Nelly. I've got a boat reserved down at Central Park. I thought we'd go out in the lake in the moonlight. Sure, and what would you do with my Nelly out on the lake in Central Park in the <laughs> moonlight? Oh, I'd think of something. Think of oh, something. Oh, Jerry. Jerry, I'm sorry, but I've got some bad news for you. I'm going to have to work tonight. You're working at the dress shop on Monday night? Well, Mr. DeVere called up and said it was something urgent. Gee, I'm awfully sorry. Well, it's just that so many of the fellas want to take you out. And when my turn comes, I hate to be disappointed. Oh, but I go out with you more than the rest. Yes, but I'm in love with you, Mary. Can't you choose out one of us from the gang? Me, for instance? Oh, but that wouldn't be fair to the rest. After all, you're all my boys. Every one of you, you're all my boys. Wonderful boys. Dozens and dozens of regular songs. Simply precede me and follow along. Because you're all my boys. It's the fun of them that make me such wonderful boys. Boys, dozens and dozens. 
Mr. Lloyd's house. But I, I don't understand. Mr. I... Lloyd is a millionaire, Nellie, and he's my best customer. If he wants all the girls and the to come to his mansion for a party, who is to to say no? Well, little Nellie Kelly is saying no. Now, please, Nellie, Mr. Lloyd's a very nice young man. <laughs> and he has such a pretty checkbook. But it's mixing business with pleasure. Who says you have to have a good time? Be miserable. Let's go, Nellie. <laughs> Kelly, I'm so glad to see you. Oh, it was very kind of you to invite all of us here, Mr. Lloyd. May I make a confession? I asked all of the girls from the Beers to come here only so that I could invite you. Oh, Mr. Lloyd. Now, ever since I first saw you modeling dresses in the Beers shop, I've been in love with you. Well, I'm very flattered, Mr. Lloyd, but... There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, Nellie Kelly. Hey, open the door. <laughs> open the door. Say, open up. Well, what do you want? I'm looking for my girl. Jerry, Jerry, what's the matter? Are you all right, Nellie? Well, of course I'm all right. Hey, what's the idea of breaking into my party? Well, I dropped by the dress shop, Nellie, and it was all dark. Then I saw you getting into a cab, so I followed you here. Oh, Jerry, you shouldn't be. I was worried about you. I thought maybe you'd do something you should. Oh, no, nonsense, my boy. I've got her here myself. All the girls from Mr. DeVere's shop are here as my guests. Oh, oh that's different. I, I, I didn't understand. In fact, before this evening is over, I hope I can persuade Miss Nellie Kelly to become... Mrs. Jack Lloyd. Oh, 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 Mr. Lloyd, I, I didn't have any idea to... Well, oh, that's all right, Nellie. I guess I just didn't know how things were. Oh, this is a bigger surprise to me than it is to you, believe me. Well, I guess I know what you'll do. Golly, it's wonderful having a millionaire like Mr. Lloyd ask you to be his wife. Why, he can buy you anything you want in the world. Oh, Jerry. You know I wouldn't marry a man just because he's rich. Oh, ah, but Mr. Lloyd is handsome, too. And young. Oh, you're going to be lonesome without you, Nellie. Oh, Jerry, don't talk like that. Uh, I guess you know why I fell in love with you, don't you? Well, not exactly, Jerry. You remind me of my mother. My mother was a lot like you. So many little things.
Turn to the second act of Little Nellie Kelly in just a moment. But first, one day last week, coal. The coal that is so vital. George M. Cohan's Little Nellie Kelly, starring Gordon McRae and his guest, Jane Powell. Everybody thought I was the fellow who stole the pearls at Jack Lloyd's party. But I didn't know anything about it. I was feeling so discouraged about losing Nellie that I... I just started out the door when the lights went out and dropped in at the station house to see Officer Kelly. Is that you, Jerry, my boy? Yes, it's me, Officer Kelly. Is Nellie with you? No, she's not. I don't think I'll be seeing Nellie anymore from now on. How's that now? A Conroy can't be holding a grudge against the Kelly. No, no, of course not. I think the Kellys are the finest people to come out of Ireland. Don't you know that? Sure, I know it. But it makes me proud to hear somebody else say it besides me. <laughs> well, I'll say it any day of the week. <laughs> What's the greatest, grandest name? Kelly is the name we say. Kelly with a capital K. What's the name not known for fame? Kelly is the name we say. Synonymous with no K. By Killarney's lakes, I swear you never were so right before. It's the grandest name that ever came from the dear old Emerald Shore. The name of Kelly has ruled for many a day. There's a swing to the name and a ring to the name that commands the right away. Oh, Brian and Brian and Sullivan and Mulligan all say that any Kelly with a K-E-double-L-Y is more than common play. He's a king with a capital K. The name of Kelly has proved for many a day. There's a swing to the name and a ring to the name that commands the right away. Oh, Christ and Christ and Solomon and Solomon and Solomon. They say that any Kelly with a K-E-double-L-Y is more than common play. He's a king with a capital K. Pains me to interrupt them kindly sentiments, Jerry, me boy, but I'll have to answer me telephone. Precinct 29, Officer Kelly speaking. What? You don't say. I'll be on the spot in a moment with me boy. What's up, Officer Kelly? Oh, oh, oh that's bad news tonight. One of them rich society women had a pearl snitch from around her neck, and I'd better find the culprit who did the stitching. You want to come along with me, Jerry, me boy? Sure, sure, Officer Kelly. You can mind the siren. Good. Come on, boys. Whenever 
Officer Kelly, I can't go in there. A Kelly and a Conroy can go into any mansion on this horse. Follow me. No, no, no. I, I shouldn't have come. We're glad you're here, officer. Hey, that is fast service. He's already caught the criminal. Well, congratulations. Yes, congratulations, Officer Kelly. Yes, congratulations, Officer Kelly. You've caught the criminal. You Now, wait a minute, Kelly. You don't know what they're talking about. What criminal? Well, this young man with you. He crashed my party, then ran off with my Aunt Pearl. Oh, there must be some mistake. <laughs> Nelly, what in blazes are you doing here? Oh, it's a party, Dad. For all the girls from the beer. Officer, I demand that you arrest this young man. Young Jerry here? Why, this boy never stole anything. I didn't take the pearls. Then why did you disappear when the lights went out? Now, oh, just a minute. Let me... Please, please, just a minute now. Let me talk with Jerry alone, and I'll find out what really happened. a moment, please. I still think this man is a thief. Oh, you're wrong, Mr. Lloyd. Then who did take the pearl? I'll find the culprit for you. Where's DeVille? Uh, yes. Somebody wants me. Search that man. Oh, no. Please, please don't search me. Why not? Because I'm sickly. Come over here. No. no. Come on. No. Here's a little oh. <laughs> How did you know that Mr. DeVere was a thief? Have you seen the prices he charges for them dresses in his stores? <laughs> He's been stealing money from the women of New York for years. Well, I, I... I think I owe you an apology, Mr. Conroy. And I think you owe him some congratulations, too. Oh? I've asked Ellie to marry me, and she's accepted. Well, well, that's wonderful. Of course, I can't give her all the rich things you could buy for her. Oh, but, but I'll be happy, Jerry, with whatever we have. <laughs> It's a cozy little home until my love comes rolling along. When you have the necessary wonderful and do all the footsteps and the faces and the candlestick making. Well, all I can promise is 
things that I'll be on the level and the things will never go wrong. In the Happy disposition and a wild desire to succeed. Will you always pay the damage when the rent comes due? Will I always be protected, never, never neglected? Oh, I'd like to give you everything there is to give and will as soon as I'm strong. But all I promise is a cozy little home until our luck comes rolling along. Congratulations to you, Jerry, my boy. Yes, congratulations and best wishes, Nellie. Oh, thank you, Jack. No, I should have known that only a Conroy could marry a Kelly. Say, what's going to happen to Mr. DeVere, officer? He's going out of the dress business for a while. I think you'll find him engaged in road work for the government, wearing a striped suit. Then I'm going to buy DeVere's shop and give it as a wedding present to little Nellie Kelly. I'll make the first push. Nellie's wedding gown. Oh. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Jane Powell returns to just a moment. Little Nellie Kelly by George M. Cohan was adapted for radio by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this time by the American Railroad. These railroads have many meanings for America, deep and vital meanings. They mean essential, efficient, and economical transportation. They mean jobs, good jobs, not only for railroad men and women, but also for hundreds of thousands of others who make the materials, supplies, and equipment the railroads buy. And railroads mean taxes. Taxes which help pay for the education of your children and for the general public welfare. Yes, day in and day out, railroads play an important part in the growth and progress of your community. That's why it's good business to do business with the railroad. And now here again is lovely Janie Powell. Jane, it's always fun falling in love with you. In fact, it's no work at all. Well, who do you fall in love with next week, Lord? Well, we've invited Dorothy Warren Show to be our guest aboard the show train next week, Jane. Oh, I can't that. Every Monday night he falls in love with somebody else. From the <laughs> Dow. <laughs> Dorothy's singing those great songs from that great Victor Herbert show, The Only Girl. And, of course, I'll be on hand to sort of hum the harmony. Oh, and I'll have my head right inside that radio, too. Good night, Gordon. Good night, Janie. Thank <laughs> you.